I thought we'd do just a very simple test here. What we're trying to uh, determine is on this air conditioner, which uses a fixed orifice device, uh, expansion device, do you need a hard start? They do equalize in the off cycle, so is there any real point to putting a hard start on a unit like this? Now this thing's so 20, 25 years old, so it's got a, quite a few years on it. I've set my meter in peak hold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to manually push in the contactor and start this thing. Okay, if you note, we got 25.12 amps on startup. Now this has got a full load of 10 amps. So it's running about three times on the start amperage. So let's try putting a, uh, I'm just gonna put a super boost on it. And that gives a hard start to it. Now here we're set up with uh, super boost put on it and we're going to try the same thing okay 21.27 that was a maximum amperage draw so you're reducing the amp draw on startup which you know admittedly is usually maybe only about a half a second you are reducing it by a little less than one-third so is it worth it is it something that's valuable to put on one of these things the factories don't put these things on uh, unless there's a uh, uh, non-bleed TXV in the system so they don't put them on my thoughts on this are I would not put one on a system like this unless I'd had a problem with the compressor not starting. Uh, if you come out and you get occasionally get blown fuses in the disconnect uh, and you can't figure anything else out or you get there and it won't start and the run capacitor is okay, then you might consider whether I should put one of these hard starts on here. It certainly does reduce the amp draw for that tiny period of time when it's starting up. As for energy usage, I don't think it's really an issue. Compressor longevity, you're balancing the compressor longevity in something like this with by saying, well, I've got a little lower amp draw on my startup, but I've got a harder push to the to the windings, which may damage the windings. You know, if you put too much of a magnetic jerk on them, maybe it would damage them. I'm not really sure that would happen either. So what's my conclusion? I'm not going to put them on a new one, but one that has any problems with starting, I would, I would definitely put one on. I don't think they're going to make a huge difference in the longevity of the machine or anything like that. I think it's, uh, it's more of a fix. A lot of times when you come along onto a, a compressor that hasn't started and you're able to get it started with a super boost, I mean, you can use a, a 521 too. They're probably better than a super boost. But if you come on one that doesn't start and you get it to start with one of these things, don't consider that, you know, happy forever. You know, the compressor's probably wearing out. And so you may get two weeks or two years out of it. But it's a fix. You can, you can maybe extend the life a little bit of an aging compressor but i don't you know a lot of guys say well mine didn't come with one so i'm just going to put one on as aftermarket you know and i i guess you could do that if you want i don't think it makes a lot of difference anyway 
That's the difference in peak amperage draw using the uh, Super Boost or just the PSC compressor.